welcome back to my channel so i am super excited um because this is my first video of 2020 it's january 1st right now so i wasn't even supposed to film this video today but i'm like uh, let me start the new year off right let me just go ahead and film so i just decided to make this video so if you guys saw my previous video uh, i did a 764 dollar ulta haul if you guys have not watched that you should go check it out but i bought a ton of like lip products i bought um a lot of matte lipsticks and i did buy a lip pencil but i don't know what happened to it it's like all of a sudden missing i think bella took it and hid it somewhere but i also got the becky g and color pop collaboration which is the ola chola um lip collection so i have two lip bundles which includes a liquid lipstick and a lip liner and then I have the roller gloss. I did not buy the third lip bundle because I already knew that it wasn't gonna look great on me. So I was just like, no, I'm not gonna buy it. So let's get started with this video. So the first product from the Ola Chola collection is this roller gloss and this is the packaging. It's super, super cute. It has like cherries in it. It gives you like that little, um, what are those pictures that people used to take back in the day that had like, like this type of design it was like very like foggy and smoky i don't know but this reminds me of that super cute super vintage so yeah so this is what the lip gloss actually looks like it looks like one of those 99 cent lip glosses you buy at the beauty supply store back in 2005 but no this thing was eight dollars and it's just a regular roll so I'm actually gonna try this on first be before I put like all those lip colors on. So let's see. I can already tell you now, this was not worth $8, but I wanted to get it to show you guys. And I look damn near the same. <laughs> but yeah, it's cherry scented. Um, It's super, super, moist like it feels so good on your lips though like it doesn't feel like sticky it doesn't feel like cheap or anything like i actually really like this but as far as the price um not worth eight dollars so i'm gonna wipe that off okay so the next one i'm gonna show you is oh look this one's even cuter look at the writing in there i know you guys can't read that but this is the name of this lip bundle it's right there and so this lip bundle comes with an ultra matte lip and then a lippy pencil so let's go ahead and open this one and see what it looks like okay i love this color so it's like a dark plum and then another dark plum this one actually looks a little bit lighter than the lip liner but i'm gonna go ahead and put the lip liner on and show you oh my god the lip liner is amazing it glides on so smooth it feels really good it just glides on like super super smooth so i'm gonna add the lip color that it came with on top of that and let's see how that looks I already love this color. This is my color, y'all. So this is what it looks like. Super, super cute. Like, I really love this color. The only thing, oh, it dries really, really fast. The only thing is, I wish it was just like a tad bit darker, but I have a lot of dark purples that I wanna show you guys, but this is really, really cute. Like, I really like this. This is like a color that I will wear like every day. Like I love my purples. So I give this, this is literally like a 10 out of 10 because like I said, the lip pencil is extra smooth and these are like super pretty and they dry like super, super matte. So let me put this to the side. So I'm gonna get everything confused. I have a lot of stuff. So I'm gonna wipe this off. Let's see how easy it comes off. Yeah, I'm about to be looking crazy by the end of this video. 
Like, my lips are going to be so stained when I go to work tomorrow. Oh my gosh, I feel like it's everywhere. I'm just putting foundation around my lips. So it doesn't look all crazy. Okay. So next, let's try let's try the next lip bundle. So and then this is the name. So the packaging is exactly the same. That's the name. And this one also comes with a lip pencil and a lip matte lipstick. So let me go ahead and find that one actually. Um because I took that one out the box earlier. Okay, I have the maroon one. And this looks like a really, really bright red. So I wonder how this is gonna look on me. So let's see, I'm gonna go on with the lip liner again. Like I said before, very smooth. Very, very smooth. Very nice. Very cute. Very ugly. <laughs> Let me hurry up and put the lipstick on because I'm out here looking crazy. Mm. So, yeah, definitely bright. Like I figured. Um, one second, guys. So, this is super bright. But you know what's crazy is that I don't even wear reds. I do not like reds. But this one actually does not look too bad. Like, hold on, let me wait till it dries. Yeah, I actually really like this one. So I'm gonna give this one a 10 out of 10 too. Because even though it's super bright, it doesn't look bad with my skin tone. It, I don't feel like a clown. Like, it's just like the perfect red. Like, I really like it. So, yeah, 10 out of 10 for this one as well. Yeah, my lips. Oh, they're gonna be so sore after doing this. Do y'all like my hair? It's off the topic, but I, bit, I did the big chop like seven months ago. And this is how it's been looking. Okay. So moving on, that's all I have for the Becky G and ColourPop collection. So now I'm gonna move on to the Maybelline's Matte Inks. I have three of these. Let's see if I have any more. Nope, just three. So I have three and let's try these. Okay, so the first one I'm going to try is this one. This is in the color Groundbreaker. So we'll see how this one looks. Oh my God, it's like orange. <laughs> oh my goodness, why did I get this color? <sighs> okay. going in the garbage i don't have anyone to give this color to this is going in the garbage now this has me feeling like a clown like oh my god i can't believe i bought this uh, <laughs> oh my god no this is a no but okay as far as the comfort of it it feels so good on my lips like it's super comfortable it's a tad bit sticky but it's nothing like too like over the top so the texture is really good on this i just do not like this color i don't know what i was thinking when i got this oh wow and then there's super what is this called super stay there are super i'm trying to look <laughs> it is so super stay i'm trying to wipe this off and it's not coming off. i should have tried these last 
Okay, y'all. I need some more. Something that's more stronger than this. I'll be back. So I needed something more stronger than just water. So I got my little Castile soap. So hopefully this helps take off this lip product because it's staying. Like they weren't playing when they said super stay. Okay, this is helping a little bit more. Okay, so now that I know that these products stick like glue, I'm gonna try on these last, the other two last, because they are definitely super, super stay, like they said. <laughs> I really thought they were joking, but they weren't. Look at this, this is so hard to come off. <laughs> I'm like scrubbing. So I don't know how I feel about that. I actually don't like that. I don't like a product that I have to scrub off my lips. Like, I just feel like it's just not good for your lips. And why is your product so permanent? Like, I know I'm supposed to stay on through meals, but if I'm wiping it off, trying to get it off, it should come off. Okay, so the other two, like I said, I'm going to try those on later because these are definitely super stay, like I said. So, let's go ahead and move on. So, I have these two L'Oreal Paris lip colors. One is brown, one is like another plum color. So, I'm going to go ahead and try the brown one on first. Oh my god, this looks just like... A product that I have already by Smashbox another matte lipstick but it's very neutral this is super cute ignore like the I feel like I got orange stuff on my face now from that lipstick <laughs> that is crazy <laughs> but yeah this is super like neutral like I really like this and I never used to like wear neutrals and like I didn't like nudes or anything, but this one is really, really nice. Let's see if it has a name on it. So this is in the color 430 Stand and this is the L'Oreal Paris and this is what the tube looks like and it's called Stand. So yeah. It feels super, super good on my lips. It's not drying. It feels very moisturizing. And I really like this. I'm going to give this a 10 out of 10 because it's very nice. <laughs> okay. Oh, these are super easy to come off too. Thank goodness. Okay. <coughs> so next. I'm gonna go in with this color. <coughs> this is the color 442 and it's called Captivate. So it's in like the same packaging as the other one. Let's go ahead and try this one on. Oh, let me show you guys the applicator. This is what it looks like. Oh, my lips are already so raw right now. They're starting to sting. I'm wiping them so much. This is so subtle. So this is what it looks like. Um, let's see. It does not feel like it's matte. It feels like it's like semi matte. And it's super, super soft like the other one. It feels like really soft on your lips. But I don't know. I feel like it's a lot sheer than what it looks like in the tube i feel like maybe it's buildable i'm not sure i'm not gonna build it up because like i said my lips are already starting to hurt so yeah i don't know about this one i'm gonna give this one it's the same one as the other one but color wise i'm just gonna give it a seven out of ten because it doesn't really match up to this one but 
still very comfortable very cute so a seven <clears throat> okay I'm gonna look at my lips oh my gosh <laughs> this is so bad here let me try some oil I feel like oil will cut through it And I was wrong. Oil did not cut through it. <laughs> yeah, I'm walking around pink lips. Okay. Let's see. Okay, so I'm going to move on to the next product. Oh, so I have another. I have another one of these. I just found it. It's um the same one, L'Oreal Paris. This one is in the color 446. Amaze. So this looks like an orange too. I don't know what possess me to buy these oranges so I'm gonna try it out see how it looks yep it's orange <laughs> no it's a little bit better than the other one because it's not as bright and not as clown looking but I don't know I wish I think <laughs> I might wear this in the summer maybe spring but yeah this is okay like i said still soft um on your lips very like different than the color in the bottle still so i feel like i'm definitely gonna keep this one i do not wear colors like this but it'll be nice um for like those days where you just want to try something new so i'm gonna keep that i'm not gonna give that one away but that other orange was wild. Okay. Oh. Okay, let's see. Still pink, but it's not showing up under it's not showing up under like the other color, so it's fine. So let's try the lip glosses. Um, so this is the Anastasia Beverly Hills lip gloss in the color Sepia. So let's go ahead and try this one on. Okay, another neutral color. Um, this is just a gloss. There's nothing much that I can say. I mean, it feels really good on your lips. It doesn't feel like sticky or anything and it's very like cushiony it feels very good on my lips so there's that <laughs> moving on okay I have another one another Anastasia lip gloss this is in the color Tara. This is what it looks like. Let's go ahead. Oh. No, I don't like this one. It's like too pale pinkish for me. It's very true to color. It definitely looks like how it looks like in the container. Um, yeah, this is a no for me color wise but like I said these lip glosses feel very good on your lips so luckily they were buy one get one free because I only like one so that's good okay let's see how many more I have left I feel like I did <laughs> did I really just go through freaking 14 lip products i had 17 lip products and i don't feel like i went through 14 because i only have three left actually no i have four left i just found another one i have four but i really don't feel like i went through 13 lip products let me count one two three four five six seven eight nine ten i'm never missing something 
Oh yeah, that's why. Because I didn't try on these because they were super stay. So I actually have more than four left to try on. I have six left, so I'm almost done. So this one is the NYX Powder Puff Lippy. It's a powder lip cream and it's in the color Detention. So I've never tried a lip cream, a powder lip cream before. It's kind of hard to squeeze out, at least to me it is. So this feels like It definitely feels powdery. Um, this is another color that I will wear just to like try something new because this is what it looks like. Because yeah, this is not like a color that I will wear every day. I feel like back then this would have been a color that I would have just wore like every day. But now that I'm older, um, yeah but as far as how it feels on my lips very soft very matte and it just feels good like it feels like i have nothing on my lips and that's like the best feeling because you know you know how sometimes you can feel like lipstick just drying out on your freaking lips it doesn't feel like that so i would say this is like a seven only because i don't feel like it's like a a product that will last like a really long time i feel like they'll easily yeah it's easy easily washed away i'm sorry guys i'm trying to wipe my mouth it's easily washed away okay so next i have another like plum color i told you i love purples this is the milani matte satin Liquid Lipstick in Crimson Curse, number 17. So let's go ahead. And this is what it looks like. I don't know if I should be. But yeah, just a regular applicator. Let's see. Ooh. Mm. Oh. Mm. I'm sorry, y'all. But um, it's so much going on. Hold on. Yeah, this smells like berries. Like, oh my god, it smells so good. I'm like, what is that? What does that smell? It's the lipstick. Yeah, it smells like berries. To me, it does. It smells really good, and it's interesting having like a lip product that has like a smell to it. But as far as the lipstick goes, I really like this one. Um. It feels super comfortable on the lips and it's good pigment and I really like this color. Um, this is just a color for me. So I'm going to give this product a 10 out of 10 because it just looks nice and it feels nice on my lips and the color is super cute. So let's see how easy. Oh, and it easily comes off your lips, which is another great thing. Okay. Okay, so next, let's see. What do we have next? So we have three more products left. So I'm gonna go, I'm gonna start. <laughs> what am I saying? I'm gonna do the freaking Too Faced and Melted Matte Liquid Lipstick. I don't know what I'm talking about. I don't know where I was going with that. But this is in the color Drop Dead Red. So let's see. Ooh, it's like a brick red. So I'm curious to how this is going to look on me. I don't have any lipsticks this color. I lied. I do. Hmm. This is like one of those colors you definitely have to line your lips with. But clearly I'm not lining my lips for the sake of time. Because that's just too much. Okay, so let's wait till it mats up a little bit. Okay, I really love this. Oh my god, I feel so sophisticated. 
crying is not me. <laughs> I look super cute in this. Like, I don't know. This makes me want to go, like, do some work. Like, go out for freaking <laughs> happy hour after work. I don't know. I really like this. This is, okay. Yeah, I know I have to line my lips and everything when I wear it out. And do a little bit more coats. But this is my favorite one. Y'all need to get this, the Too Faced Melted Matte and drop that red. I feel like this is gonna be like a, a cute universal color for all girls, all women. Like this is an empowered color. Like I love it. <laughs> Enough of that. <laughs> Let me wipe it off because oh, I'm so mad. I gotta wipe it off. It's so cute. Well, it must go. Let's see how it comes off. Okay, another product that's easy to come off. Well, it stains your lips a lot. Just by having it on for like that short period of time. I feel like it stained my lips a lot. So, I'm going to try to use more foundation. Oh, it's still stained. Anyway, and these are going to cover my lips. So I'm going to go in with the lighter color first. So I'm going to go in with 115, which is founder. And this is what it looks like. I can already tell that I'm probably not going to like this one because it's like that pinkish reddish. And I really, really don't like pinkish reddish colors. Oh, it's, it's actually just pink. Hmm, this is very different, very new. I've never owned the pink lipstick, never in my life y'all see why <laughs> no this is a no i feel like no this is a no it looks so like summery and like i feel like it does have the potential to be cute but i'm just not feeling it right now but let me hurry up and get this off my lips because this is one of the the stay the stay inks super stay color Oh my god, y'all, it's a mess. <laughs> it's all on my teeth, on my chin. <laughs> I'm so happy I only have to try on one more of these because these are a pain. So if y'all don't like stuff that's hard to get off, do not buy this. Do not buy the Maybelline Superstay Matte Ink Lipstick. <laughs> Yeah, it turned all of this pink. But like I said, I have one more left. So let me go ahead and knock that out. I'm trying to add some more foundation. No, it's not helping this time. I'm freaking face is pink. All right, last one. Another super stay matte ink. And this is in the color 112 Composer. Now let's see how this one looks because I feel like a, this looks just like the drop there red that I just tried on the Too Faced one. So, no, not really. The other one looks better. But this one is definitely acceptable, doable, and cute. Um, yeah, so this is the last lip color. So I'm gonna hurry up in this video because I'm gonna hurry up and take this off. But thank you guys for watching and thank you guys for supporting me in 2019. And hopefully you guys continue to support me in 2020. Thank you so much and you guys have a happy new year. Bye.